it's it was good. Yeah. You know, the funny thing is, I'm listening to these guys. The first one was from Russia. This one is from uh, Netherlands. And when you listen to them sing, you, you would think they're from uh, the good old USA. They have better accents than most of us. That, as they speak, you know, they sing in better English than most of us speak. Right? Well, you know, for some people, when they learn English... And yeah, they want to perfect it. They do a perfect job. I mean, look. Yeah, no, well, when you sing, you can't have, you know, there's no accents, which is good. That's true, too. But, I yeah. mean, when I speak, it's pretty hard not to tell that I come from Brooklyn. Okay? You? I, You're as, from Brooklyn? As, try, as hard as I can, my Brooklyn, Gosh. New York accent tends oh, to come Oh, shoe man, you ain't from Brooklyn. You're being kind. All right. You're being kind. And we'll, we'll put on one more. Ask Elisa. She's from Staten Island. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, I'm originally from Brooklyn. So am I. <laughs> no, you're from Israel. That's true. You're I'm a foreigner. Born, I'm, I'm born sure, and yeah. raised in Brooklyn. I've only, uh, listen, I've only been living in Staten Island for 16 years. Yeah. My, my first experience in the United States was Brooklyn. And Brooklyn will never leave me. It, you know, that's very true. I mean, I send things to my cousins who now live in, one lives in North Carolina, one lives in Florida, you know, and I belong to, you know, the Brooklyn site, old Brooklyn, blah, 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 yada, yada. And uh, anytime I see something from old New York or old Brooklyn, I always send it to them Hmm. because, you know, you could work real hard at taking the accent away from the person. But what's deep inside is you can't take Brooklyn away from the person. Yeah. All right. We got you one more take tonight. You can't person out of Brooklyn, but you yeah. can't take Brooklyn out of the person. Exactly. Now, we got another song. As long as we're doing so well, we're, we're enjoying our, our music today. The name of this singer is Brain Purist. And he I is, won't hold that against him. And he is from Croatia. I won't hold that against him either. And the name of the song is Wish You Were Here. Who the heck wants to go to Croatia? I don't know. Well, wish you were here. So many things for you to see. Wish you were.
Okay, that was Brain Purist. Wish you were here from Croatia. And? I liked it. Samantha was listening to it, and she liked it. She was actually dancing. Uh All right, so we're coming up with some good music today. So far, three out of three, basically. You're on a roll there, Rev. You're on a roll. Should we try one more? Why not? Yeah, we don't usually go on a roll like this. No, you've been on a roll. Last week, you were on a five-song roll. Okay. The next one is, let's see. Oh, oh, this, you're going to like this name. The name of the, uh, the, this, oh, this. I have no idea what this is going to be. The name of the group is Two. They're from Romania. And the name of the song is Yala Habibi. (laughs) I have no idea. Yala Habibi. Yala Habibi. The rev is getting down. Baby. What'd you think of that? 
It was different. I, I, I don't even know. I, I, I don't have a word. I, I can't describe it. Yes, you can. It was Yala Habibe. Was it terrible? It was more. It, I, it was Bollywood. That's what it is. It sounded just like Bollywood. I like the beat. Yeah, it was just funny. I, I was saying, was where, I was waiting for the belly dances. I sang this to Felix. I said, he puts my feelings on fire. Yala Habibi. Yeah. I, okay, I wait a like second. We've. In, what was that? Can't hear you. I was somewhere in the Middle East. Can't I got one. Yeah, more. I agree with you on that. I got one more song by the same group. Oh, you're really pushing it now. Yeah, no, that's it. Same group, but Lady Lady. <laughs> Chad, we'll be with you in a second. Hey, Chad. I can hear you. 